Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with an update for my Pandal's eyeshadows project. So as for many of you, this is also my favourite project that I'm doing right now. I, I'm really, really excited to have an update for you again and it is quite an exciting one again, which I'm really delighted about. So I'm basically just going to jump straight into it and get into the eyeshadows. So as per normal, I am working on five different shadows and they are spread across four different palettes. So I don't have them all right here. Uh, and I'm basically just going to go through them in the order that I have them in this pile. So the first palette that I have is the Give It To Me Straight palette. Uh, and this is from Colourpop. Um, this round, actually all of my palettes are from Colourpop, which um, is a little bit funny. But I've been working on these four. So the Give It To Me Straight palette, I had the shade Be Blunt. So I'm going to insert the picture of where I was last time. And as you can hopefully see right there, I did manage to hit pan. So I hit pan on this kind of like halfway through the month and um, so I did put this palette away almost straight away after hitting pan on it. Um, the colour is really really beautiful and I actually started liking this way more than I thought I would and um, I was scared that it would be too dark to work on um, but I actually started li liking it and I actually started to find ways to use it. Initially I only used it as a liner and I did use it quite a lot like that but I actually used it all over the lid and in combination with other eyeshadows. Um, yeah, I like the shade, I'm definitely going to use it more, but I'm probably going to put this palette away for a little bit. Um, when, I guess, when it comes to the other eyeshadows in the palette, the main one I used was this one right here. It was really nice to top this shadow with to make it a little bit more light, um, or like make it brighter. And I also used some more of the shimmers. Um, I also used these kind of dark mattes to pair with another few eyeshadows that I had, but... I would say those two are majority of the shades that I used in this, uh, and particularly this one though, because that's the shade I was going to focus on. Um, so yeah, that is one shadow out of this project, um, so I will be rolling in another one instead of this one at the end of this video. Next up we have a palette that I rolled in last time, and that is the Sweet Talk palette, also from Colourpop obviously. Um, and the shade I had in this one last time was uh, Catch Me, I believe, so I'm going to insert the picture where I was last time. So this color last time was completely new, I've already used this palette at all, so um, um, the progress I have, you can see right there, is not that significant. I'm not even sure you will ever pick it up on camera, maybe there. There is some usage, but this like color is really, really densely packed. I think this is the most densely packed matte shade that I've tried from Colourpop so far. Uh, which is making this shade go really, really slowly. I've been using this shade mainly as a setting shade. But I kind of realized after losing a bit of my tan since being on holiday that it is almost too dark to use as a setting shade. So I do use it as a setting shade still, but I more use it as a kind of beginning of a transition shade. So um, I kind of mainly focus it on my crease as a light transition shade and then I usually add in my regular transition shade afterwards. So that's how I've been using it mainly. I try to use a quite stiff brush because like I said it is a really really densely packed shadow and I don't feel like it like my brushes pick up very much of it um so yeah i never really had that experience with colourpop before but i don't know if it's just the shade or what it is but i'm still enjoying the shade it's not my favorite i definitely feel like this is my least favorite shade, shade that i've had in this project so far mainly because of the formula and also because it's so much like an in-between shade for me it's not really dark enough to be a transition but it's also too dark to be a um, setting shade so yeah, that's just my thoughts on this one, but obviously I'm going to continue working on it and hopefully I will be able to hit pan on it. Maybe not next update, but hopefully in the next two months. So, moving on to the third palette, we have this one right here. This one is the Element of Surprise palette, again from Colourpop, and the shade I was working on in this one was called Subdue. So I'm going to insert the picture of Subdue up here. And this is where I am today. So I don't have any pan yet, but I do have a bit of a dip building. You can especially see it in that kind of angle. Um, I am wearing this shade kind of today. I'm actually wearing this palette. Um, majority, I'm wearing this shade and that shade. Um, and that's what I have in my eyes. Um, it's a really simple look and I've actually been enjoying this quite a bit. The only thing I would say with this shade is that it's not super kind of reflective. Um, and the best way I've noticed that I can work it is either using my fingers or even better using a glitter glue. So that's what I've been using this with mainly is a glitter glue. Because it creates way more of an impact. That's the way I used it today. So yeah, um, 
I do really really like this shade and I do foresee myself repeating pan on this for next update so fingers crossed I can keep that um, and I definitely think that will be my goal for this palette. Also for anyone who saw my uh, Roulette Pan collab introduction I got a lot of compliments on my eyeshadow in that um, video uh, and what I was was basically just this shade all over the lid so if you were wondering that is the shade that I've been um, that I had all my lid in that video. So moving on to the last palette that we have, and this is the Through My Eyes palette uh, from Colourpop. And I have two shades in this palette, so I'm going to move on to showing you both. So the first one I will be focusing on is Misbehave, so I'm going to insert the picture of that up here. And as you can see, that is Misbehave, and I did manage to pan on it. So as you can see, I have quite a big of a dip in there. Um, I actually didn't really intend to pan on this this month, but I did manage to, which is really exciting. I actually pan on this two days ago, which uh, kind of prompted me to film this video. I was going to film it anyway this weekend, but I just wanted to get filming <laughs> as soon as I had pan because, yeah, it's just exciting and I didn't really foresee myself even panning on anything else after doing pan on this one before my next update, so I just decided to film this today. Uh, but yeah, it is, was a really beautiful shade and initially I was quite worried because it's quite a dark color um, and it's also colorful but I found so many ways to like, I absolutely love this. I, I love using this with like shimmery golds or purples or use kind of like with a halo eye um, with other shades and I actually used this quite a lot with the other shade I will show you which I'm covering right now. Um, Quite a lot and I really enjoyed that combination as well. It created like a really nice kind of sunset eye look and I think I have this in quite a few different looks um, at the end of this video so you can have a look at it there. But yeah this shade is rolling out so I will roll in another shade for this as well at the end of this video. And then for the last shade we have in this project and also in this palette is Wild Child so I'm going to insert the picture of that up here. And looking at the palette right there you can see that I managed to pan on Wild Child as well. Uh, so I'm actually really happy to have two pans in this um, palette and I did manage, I did hit pan on this one first and this one afterwards um, and yeah I really love this shade. I've been using it quite a lot with this one and this is actually the gold that I used together with this one quite a lot as well. Um, and I really love this palette. Uh, I love this palette so much. I used quite a bit of this because it's the biggest one I have and it's the only one I've been working on that had a mirror. So I reached for this palette a lot. Um, because I've been at my boyfriend's house and I brought all of these four palettes quite a lot. So I've been playing around with them and this is definitely my favorite out of the four. So I do definitely recommend this if it's still available on Colourpop's website because it's beautiful. Uh, but back to the actual shade. I use this again a lot and I don't know. I just really fell in love with yellow eyeshadow by using this. There's quite a few ways that you can use this. I used it mainly in my crease but also all over my lids, topping it with different shades um, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I think I talked quite a lot about this one in my last update so I won't talk about it too much today but I will insert again some pictures of uh, me wearing this in a few different looks at the end of this video. So moving on to the next part of this video which is going to be rolling in some new eyeshadows and this is for me, uh, at least when I watch these videos, kind of like the funnest part. Uh, you've seen what people roll in uh, in place of the other eyeshadows and I did actually since last update because before I used to have a list of all my eyeshadow palettes and then roll it kind of when I get to it um, so if, for example if I got this palette um, there are 16 shades so I will get the palette's number and then I will put 1 to 16 and decide a shade that way however since then I put all my shadows in a spreadsheet so I think I will just randomize a number um, and do it that way. That's how most people do it. I just didn't have a spreadsheet yet but I just kind of worked on that over the last month and put all my eyeshadows in a spreadsheet so that's how I roll it now. If you do prefer the old kind of way then let me know and I can go back to that but I just kind of wanted to move on to having a spreadsheet because I feel like otherwise it was a lower chance getting an eyeshadow in a big eyeshadow palette rather than a small one if that makes sense so that's why I wanted to do it that way. So looking at the spreadsheet I currently have 370 eyeshadows in my collection. So my spreadsheet actually the first eyeshadow starts at number four and the bottom one goes to 375. So I will randomize it that way and um, I did try it the other way around before but I just realized that it's easier to count if I do the actual rows. So that means that my first eyeshadow will be number 331. 
So the first eyeshadow that I pulled was one from my Black Sea palette and this shade is my Wet n Wild kind of orange sh shade. So we'll go and pull that out. So we're back and the first shadow that I pulled is this one right here. It's my orange shade from my Wet n Wild Color in the Street palette, I think it's called. Um, and that is what it looks like. I'm obviously going to take photos of this um, kind of at the end of this video. So we have my starting point. But let me swatch it for you. So there we have the first eyeshadow, which is Color in the Street from Wet n Wild with the orange shade. So let's go ahead and randomize the second color, which will be row number 66. Number 66 is from my Colourpop Yes Please palette, and the shade that I have is Mischief. So from the Colourpop Yes Please palette, uh, guess which shade we got? We got the yellow. So we're moving on from one yellow to another, but that's fine. And this color, like I said, is called Mischief. And then the third and final color will be row number... 133. Three. So number 133 three is from another colorful palette and the palette is I Think I Love You. Um, this shade is called Let's Do It. So I'm gonna go and get that palette and show you what shade it is. So here we have the I Think I Love You palette and the shade Let's Do It is my first black shade. So this palette is completely untouched and like I said the color that I got is just the black. So let's go and swatch out the shades from my last round that I have still in the project and let's see my color palette for the next month. So here we have my color palette swatched out. We have the Element Surprise palette shade. We have the orange shade from the Wet n Wild palette. We have the Yes Please palette shade. We have the I Think I Love You shade. And then lastly, which you can't really see because it's skin colored, we have the Sweet Talk palette um, eyeshadow. So these four right here will be my palettes for next month, plus the um, single shadow. So let's see how that goes. So sorry about the lighting, it just got really dark, but I'm going to try to wrap this video up as soon as possible. Um, so for the looks that I have for this month, I have four different looks, um, and I'm going to share them now. So the first look I have is, is one kind of everyday look that I did quite a lot. So I'm using the purple shade um, kind of in my crease. And then what I did is I just put the purple shade, like the shimmer purple, on my lid, all over my lid. Uh, but as you can see, it looks, it looks kind of like more golden, which... So what I did is put the purple on shade on first. So I just topped it with the uh, golden shade that I showed in the Frumayas palette. I just topped it as well with a liquid eyeliner and um, some other kind of shade just to like top it up but that's the shades from the um product that i used so yeah that is the first look the second look is actually quite funny and it's a really nice kind of memorable picture for me so when i was on holiday in spain and i was doing my makeup and my boyfriend actually asked if he could choose my eyeshadows he didn't do my makeup but he did choose my eyeshadows um and i was having my through my eyes palette out so i'm actually just gonna pull it out and show you guys but I had this open and um, I was just starting to do my makeup so he actually asked if he can do my makeup and he basically just did so what he did is he took the kind of yellow shade and put that in the crease and then he used I, I asked him what do you want to put with it and of course he chose the most intense shade in the palette which is the green so that's why I put it all over the lid and then and I also kind of asked him if he wanted to put this in the outer corner, which he agreed with. But basically he chose this whole look by himself. And I actually think it turned out really like great. I actually would not have chosen the green by myself. Uh, but it turned out really, really well when he chose that for me. So I'm really proud of that look. And it was just something fun that I would share with you. The next look is another everyday look that I made. It's just using that light purple again um, with the... Same kind of dark matte purple from the Through My Eyes palette. Um, just lighted this time and with not like winged eyeliner. And this time I only used it a tiny bit in the outer corner rather than like throughout the whole crease just to make it a again a little bit lighter. And then the last look is actually one of my favorite looks that I've created in a very long time. So basically with this look I again used the Through My Eyes palette and I got inspired by a look from Kathleen Lights. Um, and I basically just took the yellow shade from my kind of project in my inner corners and then I kind of faded that into the purple shade from the same palette, again the matte one, um, and that turned out really really well. And I just kind of faded those two together and then in my outer corners I just took the green from the Through My Eyes, the matte green, 
and again I just faded that into the other two shades and this look turned out so good um if you saw my um product polish update you have seen that look in there but I'm just so proud of that one and it was beautiful and I will definitely recreate that um more times because I was so happy with it and like I never tried something like that before because it was quite colorful for me but it just turned out so wearable still so I'm really really happy with that one so that was all for this video um I'm so sorry that the lighting went so dark I'm just not used to the um sun setting so early nowadays um and that's why it's kind of dark and I am thinking about getting a ring light just so that I can film at night time um but hopefully I can kind of alter the settings to make it less dark um but yeah that was it for this video i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and um yeah subscribe to my channel if you're new here i got an, a few new subscribers recently which i'm so excited about and welcome to my channel um and yeah i will talk to you in my next video bye guys